Hello YouTube, Luke Dude 5 here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to build a combination lock. So this can be done with as many levers as you want, but in this tutorial we're going to be using five. So, so if you want however many levers you want, you want to put enough blocks for them, and make sure the blocks are one block away from each other. So every other block, put a block for every lever, if that makes sense. And then just put your levers on the blocks. Okay, now you're going to want to choose your combination. So the levers that you want to be down when you press the button to open the door, put them down now. For this tutorial, it's going to be these three. And then go to the back and put a redstone torch on the back of the levers that you wanted to be down. Or that are down right now. And say that I put one on there. If the redstone torch is on, that means the lever's not down. So keep the levers down. Okay, now choose your middle block and put a dirt block two away from it. Now you're just going to connect all of your uh, switches or your levers to it. So just connect them all like this. You don't need to go over the top. And then put a redstone torch here. So now you have all of your levers going into one output and we're going to connect this to an AND gate. So first we're going to build an AND gate. It's going to be uh, right here. So to build an AND gate, put a tor redstone torch here, here, and here on the far side and just connect it with redstone. Okay, we're going to connect our levers to the far redstone torch. Oh my god. Okay. And the torch should go. This torch should be on, and that torch should be off. If this torch is not on, play around with your levers until it goes on. Okay, now we're gonna connect a button to this. Uh, so button the block. Put a button on it, and connect it to the and gate, the other torch. So you want to connect your levers to one torch, and your button to the other torch. So now when we press this that torch will go off. And if we have a door here, the door will open when we press that button. But we want the door to stay open until we press another button. So we're going to use an RS NOR latch. Basically what it does is it keeps the power on forever until another button is pressed. Okay. So to make this just uh, do this. Okay, so to build it, you're going to want to put blocks like this. Um, it's a little 3x3 three three block area with one block in each corner except for these corners. And then put your redstone torches away from the redstone. So you can see the redstone is leading this way. So do not put the redstone torch there, put it there. And then just put it over here. So then just connect these with the redstone. One of them should go off and now we can connect the door so from one side of here just connect a little redstone path and put a door down now the button to get the door to close you just have to uh, you don't connect it from there you connect it from this block so you want the redstone to be leading into the torch so you can do this and then you could have a button here you can't do this because then the redstone is not leading into the button so make sure it's leading into the button and move my button just put your button down and you're good to go oh. okay so if we come over here and press this button door will open and it will stay open forever or until we press this button and yeah so if this button opens the door and that button over there closes it all you need to make is a simple redstone inverter so now let's see let's try it if we have the wrong combination so as you can see when we 
uh, turn this lever up, this block goes on, and it turns this redstone torch off, which effectively makes the whole thing useless. So, nothing's gonna happen when you press that. Turn the lever on, door opens. So, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more tutorials, and see you next time.